This group of unorthodox environmentalists are urging people to think differently about weeds. And they're bringing new meaning to the term, eat your greens. Yum, cat's here. Permaculture expert Doris Pozzi is leading the charge. She says the pesky plants require no effort to grow, are free, have no food miles and are highly nutritious. Oh, this is good. I was hoping I'd find a bit more variety. I'm going to make a salad. Her husband Stephen explains. I mean, that's how Doris started on this whole thing. It was cleaning up, we had a place in Fitzroy and she was cleaning up the backyard and tearing the weeds out and she started looking up what she was tearing out so that we could plant totally useless things like lettuce <laughs> and found out the nutritional value of those was so much better and yes. is equally tasty. Alrighty, so yeah, no, we're going to put some of these three quarter bleak flowers to finish off the salad. The pair admit the devastating effects that weeds have on our native environment and say eating them is the perfect revenge. 90% of the uh, veggies and greens that we have, we either grow them or we forage. So, yeah, 90%. Slight bit of saute and that's, that's it. In fact, edible weeds are cropping up on the menu in some of Melbourne's finest restaurants. But this group say anyone can do it. Yep. This stuff is just so underrated. <laughs> Mrs. Pozzi said soaring food prices and the organic movement have helped increase the popularity of wild edibles. We're getting there. Look how good this is looking. We're actually not far off. And as for the final product, on one plate and can just help themselves with their fingers. I think that's a great. So, whether you consider these as everyday weeds or something more special, this unusual meal has managed to impress even the harshest of critics.